Good afternoon and what is a warm, bright and sunny day. It is Sunday the 13th of August. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a box to continue unboxing. And what I'm going to pull out of here is this little supplement, The Beasts of the Outer Swells. This is a rainy city festival. Um, even the saltiest of seabirds knows that, 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 that to crawl the outer swells is not for the faint of wing. Now, uh, I really liked the rainy city uh, setting book. It's, um, it's systems mechanics neutral, so there's multiple different um, 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 role-playing games you could run it under. Um, to, Into the Odd would, would work very well. Um, but it's an odd city where it always rains um, and the numerous different factions and uh, sort of like uh, working their way, working um, at cross purposes to each other in, um, in a, it's essentially the rain sodden city. And when I saw that there was a bestry of the setting, because there's also a couple of like um, volumes of like miscellany um, for the setting as well, I had to get it. Um, so we open up and um, this is uh, um, essentially from Superhero Necromancer. And, um, you know, um, so it says, if you find yourself in the grey, sodden heart of the rainy season, and it's rainy city, it's always rainy season, uh, you could do worse uh, than devote yourself with a visit to the Cordial Society of Cloistered Cartographers. Their holdings include the most extensive uh, collections of maps and navigational charts to be found in rainy city and lonely as they are the members tend to be liberal with their liqueurs um so if you're looking to outfit or um, research an expedition from rainy city that's where you go so a nice kind of um piece of of, of text introducing the the um the setting and um at, um the uh, uh, um and, and just sort of like a faction in it and, and a way to sort of learn about essentially lands beyond um, the, the city itself. So we've got to take the contents and um, we begin with, um, you know, a, the, the aspect lantern, a dying light to dream above the, 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 um, the deeper dark. So, you know, we have you know, essentially a lantern on sort of what looks to be an island um, uh, which um, hides to tentacles that reach into the depths and, uh, and are ready to pull um, whatever foolish interlopers walk upon its surface um, and pull it into, into um, to, to their doom. So I've got a couple of, so this is a good couple of um, pages of description of the creature and again this is setting new this is this is not setting neutral it's mechanically neutral so again you read up on the details and apply it to the stats of your choice then we have the clacker mass um uh, some thunders speak of more than storms essentially almost a, a collection of, of ships round ashore um and, to, and and potentially threaten um the uh sailors on the seas beyond the city itself we have the cold ward council not even the outer swells are beyond the law um, at, um, a council of beasts that maintain, helps uh, works to maintain the peace uh, and pursue its own agenda um, out there beyond handsome randy handsome randy something the swells can uh, can be comely and subtle and here we have um, handsome Randy, a very um, uh, a, a, a gentlemanly looking um, a ram with great horns upon his head. And the Mirror City, the impossible harbour that hosts a subtle hunger, um, you know, a, a reflection of the rainy city. The question is, uh, is that, does, does it rain as much in the reflection? Um, as it does in the actual city. And the question is whether or not, you know, wondering which is the real rainy city, the, um, uh, the one you're in or the reflection. And uh, the mother of Manatees, she for whom the children shed their skin. 
uh, he's basically giving rise to the mermaid legend um, and hopefully having the same kind of effect upon um, such, uh, the waters and sailors uh, of the seas beyond the rainy city. The scrawl, the bones that name the city's secret shames. Um, that, um, essentially giant uh, beasts um, that beset the sailors almost like essentially the equivalent of a sperm or blue whale there uh, at, uh, and taken from the scrawl basically taken from um, the art of scrimshaw which is carving bones in particular whale bones um, was a particular pastime of sailors you know because, you know not having a, not necessarily always having something to do on their on their voyages they would carve bones uh, the wish of Wakame, a waking dream of distant shores and open doors far away from um, the um, uh, rain sodden um, streets of rainy city uh, to lure sailors and travelers alike and again a similar kind of treatment in terms of its length um, the wonder goal a strength that dares to rise above the, the rain um, you know basically uh, perhaps promising a path um, from out from the, the constant downpour um, this is followed by um, uh, plots jetsam a all manner of esoteric hodgepodgery on the outer swells such things as forlorn passages on the aspic lantern things you can do at a clacker meet matters currently on the cold waters council's docket handsome roundies excellent recommendations things one might find preserved in the in the mirror city so you know so you've got the descriptions you've got the content and then you've got these tables to refer to you know here are interesting things that are going on related to um, the beasts of the outer swell so let me show you that too in more detail and then it does the same thing for prizes for, for manatee contests of honor a name written on a uh, distant dislodged scrawl bone the consequences of in inefficient wishing potions you might find at the bottom of uh, Tolliver's bandolier and uh, some trawlers distinguished and infamous so you actually have some basic descriptions of some NPCs that you might meet on the seas high and low uh, and it should be noted that Flotsam, Flots Jetsam is the name of the two volumes of the companion volumes to the core rainy city guide and then we have rar rarities and relics swells uh, objects of power devotion and weirdness uh so, so like amber grease literally that's amber grease not amber grease um so um g-r-e-e-a-s rather than g-r-i-s so um so not so this is a fish in the, in the guts of sperm whale and you might come away with ambergris which is 50 kinds of useful to get ambergris though you need to root around the gooey bits in the brain swell of a swell born red a beer muff with scarlet streaks that run along its planks so a different kind of substance um bar, the bask of the assassin um at, uh, beeweed and the bilge pump of the Barnaby Bellows, the relic, like many things in the city, a result of misdirected wish. Uh, Barnaby Bellows made the mistake of, um, of phrasing the wish too close to the worm's well, and that dragon, as always, was listening. In exchange for his right eye, his right arm, and his left testicle, hmm, um, the worm gave Bellows a pump that could keep a trolley's bilge bone dry for hours at a time. Bellows lost the pump at the, at the card table, but it's a said a goodly member of the trawler captains and high pollution folk up on the MVC row would pay dearly to get their hands on it. So you've got descriptions of these items um, which are um, sufficiently detailed but um, more than sufficiently flavoured uh, for the game master to develop and uh, again like the uh, beasts of the outer swells described in the early pages to detail including you know her preferred set of rules. Others include the cobbletop clam, the condenser of uh, um, Elodie Jenks, Conquering Conkins, Conking Conch, and more
all the way down to Umberland's colours, uh, the gnar whistle, and so on. So you've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen of these rare rarities and relics to bring into your um, rainy city uh, um, game. Or, of course, you know, the game of your choice, really. And, you know, as long as it's sort of like um, got a heavy uh, focus upon sort of like the, you know, the rain and the sea. So, yeah, that's Beast of the Outer Swells. Essentially another, it, it's not quite a miscellany for the rainy city, but it, it's got lots of interesting things in it. Beasts and relics and, and powers that be um, that will expand and flavour your game even further. So, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the Nook. If you have, then please do... Uh, click on the like button down below and if you've got any comments or feedback I do appreciate you taking the time to post those and lastly if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings in the nook where you will see me out here with a box containing a book or a game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea then please do click on the subscribe button down below thanks again for watching another unboxing in the nook We'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.